Institute of Perfection, the author of the law of graces, we declare in this orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union of possession and marriage of the blessed orthodox son Mina to his betrothed, the blessed orthodox daughter Marina, 
Can ever me view it in a shame and the mouth of web or not, you know, the face my road in Jeff, not if you'd be fun to As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us to temptation, deliver us from evil. For Jesus Christ, our Lord, lies the kingdom, the power, glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the founder of the statue of perfection and the author of the law of graces, we declare in this orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union of possession and the marriage of the blessed orthodox daughter Marina, to her betrothed blessed son, Mina, blessed be his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, our uh, 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 Lord. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lies the kingdom, the power, of glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ, the founder and the state of perfection and the author of the law and the grace we complete in this Orthodox assembly before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union and the possession, and the marriage of the blessed Orthodox son <coughs> Mina to his blessed Orthodox daughter Marina. In, uh, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Ah, 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 ah. worthy to pray thankfully and to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not temptation but deliver us from evil it is christ our lord who lies in the power of glory forever Jeffer 
Anthropopos Vereron, Hem Poet of Finim Notier on Tebno, Elin Vengeman Procrator of Chase Penno. سترتنا وعنتنا وحفظتنا قبلتنا إليك أشفقت علينا وعضتنا وأتيت بنا إلى هذه الساعة Pray the God may have mercy and compassion upon us Hear us, help us and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is gone up half at all, all times. And may he bless the wedded couple, Mina and Marina, in his holy name, and forgive us our sins.
Yes, our Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who ornamented the sky with the stars and adorned the earth with the splendor of the many different kinds of fruitful plants and granted humanity the heavenly things and bestowed upon it rest on the earth. Now also we ask you, good one, the love of mankind, to bless his vestments so that they become for your two servants who will wear them to the pleasure of your goodness, this means of glory and salvation. Amen. Amen. This means of joy and delight. Amen. Amen. Preserve them both pure in soul, body, and spirit. Amen. Amen. Let their life be healthy, peaceful, and chaste through the act of righteousness. Grant them both heavenly and earthly comfort that they become rich through the acts of righteousness. Fill their houses and storage places with all blessing, and may they become worthy of doing your pleasure at all times. For you are merciful, princes in mercy and righteous, and to you is due glory with the good Father and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, his oneness with you, and at all times, unto the age of all ages. Amen. The spiritual raiment as my call and the good of Jews, my call has put on Kiriyadeh. servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Ephesians. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, and of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. <laughs>
Christ our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see what things which you are now see, but they have not, and to hear the things which you are now listening to, but they have not. Blessed are your eyes, for they can see, and ears, for they can hear. May be worthy to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your Saints. Pray for the Holy Ghost. Remember, O oh Lord, that the last us to remember them in our prayers and supplications that we offer unto you, who are God. Repose the souls of those who have preceded us in departure and heal those who are sick for you. The life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. A consumento a Evangelion. Pesmaro, ten jebeth me of Enabranch, don't you tell me gom? Carta, Matthew, and again for your own to another smile. Looks as he gets. Stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Matthew, the evangelist, the apostle, and pure disciple, may his blessing be with us all. From the sun. Teacher, David, the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Which is like a bridegroom coming out 
of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house. Your children like olive plants all around your table. Savior and the King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and glory be to you. When Jesus had finished these sayings, that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him testing him and saying to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to, <coughs> to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let not man Separate. Glory be to God forever. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison,
and the sea and everything therein, and ornamented them with your wisdom. We beseech you, O Lord, to hear and have mercy upon us. For you who made man in his image after his likeness and placed him in the paradise of joy, we ask you, O Lord, to hear and have mercy upon us. For you, blessed Abraham and Sarah, and made her a wife for him and granted him the title of the head of all the churches. O you who preserved Isaac, show us for him Rebekah from his, and saved him from his enemies. We ask you, O Lord, to hear and have mercy upon us. Hear O you who blessed Jacob and gave him Rachel as his wife and did grant them to be heirs of the promise. O you who raised up Joseph and granted him as an ass, as his wife, and through him you sustained all the land of Egypt, we ask you, Lord, hear and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who is pleased to be born of a virgin in the fullness of time and delighted mankind. O you who attended the wedding of Cain of Galilee, bless this marriage as you blessed that marriage. We beseech you to hear and have mercy upon us. Hear it, O you who transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of his divinity, bless your servants, mean and marine, and purify them with your love for mankind. We ask you, Lord, to hear and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. You attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee and blessed that wedding and transformed water into genuine wine by your authority. Bless also and guard this wedding of Marina and Mina in peace and harmony and love and protect them. We ask you, Lord, to hear and have mercy upon us. Hear in Christ loves the Father, the only begotten Son. Grant us your peace, which is full of every joy. Attend to God with wisdom, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy truly. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the God of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, God and not created, one is with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit, Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us in the Pontius Pilate, Stephen was buried, and third day he arose from dead according to the scriptures. Ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, he's coming again in his glory to judge living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, sees from the Father, where the Father, the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and one holy and diverse apostolic church, we confess on prison remission of sins. Ten Everlasting, who has no beginning, whose wisdom has no limit, 
and whose power has no end, who made man from the earth and gave him a woman out of his side and accommodated her for him as a helper fit for him as it is pleases your lordship and goodness because it is not good for a man to be alone. We ask you also now, our king, to join your two servants, Mina and the Marina, to be united to each other in one body and to enter into the law of joy and to abide in your truthful teachings. Grant them a living fruit out of the womb so that they rejoice in the birth of good children and have quiet and peaceful times. Prepare them for every good work through Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Father, our God, who formed all nature, who formed man from earth and made for him a helpmate from the rib you have taken from him and joined them together in the fellowship of marriage for life and continuous growth of mankind and told them to grow and multiply and fill the earth and, ro and rule over it. You also, O oh good one, the lover of mankind, bless the union of your two servants, Mina and Marina, who are united to each other account your will. Let them and multiply them as you blessed our fourth father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless them as you blessed Abraham with Sarah. Elevated them as you did Isaac and Rebekah. And multiply them as you multiplied Jacob and his offspring. Glorify them as you have glorified Joseph in Egypt. Grant them purity. Multiply them as Elkanah and Anna whom you, you blessed and to whom you granted Samuel, the faithful prophet, make them worthy of the pure good tidings of the archangel as you did with Zachariah and Elizabeth, to whom you granted the purse of John, the greatest among those born of women, who became a forerunner before your only begotten son, you also are master, Lord, Bless Joachim and Anna, and made from them the rational ark, the mother of God, Mary, from whom your only one son was incarnate and came into the world, and blessed the wedding of Cana of Galilee. Bless your servants, Mina and Marina, who are united at this hour. Grant them prosperity, wisdom, and salvation's blessings, so that they may be in all gladness and all purity, in they may be in all goodness and all purity united in their bodies and souls and be worthy of your blessing and glorify your holy name together with your only one son and the Holy Spirit now and, and forever and into the age of all ages. Ah, amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. God the great and <coughs> eternal who brought life into existence out of non-existence and created the universe by your logos and formed man with your pure hands in your image and after your likeness and from one created the other for you said that it is not good that the man should be alone so you cause sleep to fall upon Adam so he slept, and you took a rib from his side and closed up its place with flesh instead of it. For this a man leaves his father and mother and cleaves to his wife, and they both become one body. And what God has joined together, let no man put us asunder. O oh, you who blessed Abraham with Sarah, Isaac with Rebekah, and Jacob with Leah, and Rachel, and purified all who were joined in the blessing now. Also, O oh, Master Lord, look upon your two servants, Mina and Marina, his helpmate, 
confirm their union, guard their bed in purity, cover them and their home with your uncomparable right hand, deliver them from all envy and integrities, preserve them in one's harmony and peace, grant them joy and happiness to reveal unto you, O living God, the fruit of the life from the womb. Place them, O God, as you placed Abraham with Sarah, and Isaac with Rebekah, and Jacob with Leah and Rachel. As for the men and the women who are here with us, bless them in the name of our Lord and our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who anointed out of the all fruit of the rich all olive tree, priests, kings, and prophets, we beseech and entreat you, goodness lover of mankind, to bless this oil with, with blessings so that it becomes an oil to sanctify your two servants, Mina and Marina. Amen. Weapon of righteousness and justice, Amen. An anointment of purity and incorruption, Amen. Light and unfading beauty, Amen. Joy, aroundment, and true comfort, Amen. Salvation and victory over all the deeds of the adversary. Ah, Renewer ah, and the salvation of their souls, bodies, and spirits. I mean, ah, riches with fruits of good deeds. I mean. Glory and honor to your holy name with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life who is with one essence with you now and forever and to the age of all ages. Amen. Holy God, who crowned the saints with unfading crowns <coughs> and reconciled the heavenly and earthly and united them, O oh, you, our Master, now also bless these crowns, which we prepare <coughs> to be set upon your two servants, Mina and Marina, to be for them crowns of glory and honor. Amen. Amen. Crowns of blessing and salvation. Amen. Crowns of joy and happiness, I mean. Amen. Crowns of jubilation and delight, I mean. Amen. Crowns of virtue and justice, I mean. Amen. 
because of wisdom and understanding of understanding hearts. I mean, grounds of comfort and confirmation. I mean. Servants, Mina and Marina, who shall wear them, the angel of peace and the bond of love, deliver them from all the evil souls and vile desires. <coughs> deliver evil desires. Oh. Deliver them from the every weight of cunning and from every devilish hardships. Let your mercy be upon them. Hear the voice of their supplication. Set your fear in their hearts. Manage their life without delay unto the old age. Make them rejoice by beholding the sons and daughter whom they will beget. Make them, uh, make them useful in your one holy universal and apostolic Orthodox Church. Confirm them in the Orthodox faith to the end. Lead them in the way of your righteousness through the pleasure of your good Father and the Holy Spirit now and for, forever and into the end of ages. Amen. Place the crowns, O priest of Emmanuel. Place the crowns, O shepherd of Israel. Place the crowns in joy and jubilee shine upon me the bridegroom and marry the bride Place, O oh Lord, upon your two servants, Mina and Marina, crowns of unvanquished grace, I mean. Amen. Crowns of elevated and everlasting glory, I mean. Amen. Crowns of unopposed and unattacked good faith and bless all their actions. Our God, the giver of blood, the giver of all good things, and glory and honor are due to you, is your God Father and your Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is one answers with you now and forever and to the, the age of all ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Crown them with the with the glory and honor of Father. Amen. Amen. Bless them, O you only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sanctify them, O you, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
You have been present at this blessed time before the sanctuary of the Lord of hosts and his holy altar and this orthodox gathering. You have been joined by this blessed marriage and the holy crowning according to this right and this law. So also the rest of the fathers, the believers, took one wife in purity and the cleanness for the sake of the descendants and children. So you should know each other's rights and submit yourselves to one another. And let each of you be faithful to the other according to our teacher, Paul the Apostle. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but her husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Receive right. a bridegroom, a bridegroom is yours. Jesus Christ has given her to you. And at the hand of a father, the bishop, the new priest, he has presented her to you and, and blessed, blessed you both with Blessed son Mina, who is supported by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you are required to receive your wife at this blessed hour with a clear conscience, a pure soul, and a full heart. Excel in doing all that is good for her, have compassion on her, hasten to do that which will gladden her heart. Today you are responsible for her instead of her parents. You have both been crowned with the heavenly crowning and the spiritual marriage. The grace of God has settled upon you. When you accept what has been commanded of you, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, grant you blessed children by whom God will delight your eyes, and grant you a long age and prosperous life, and prosper your outcome in this life and the hereafter. Listen, O bright and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, for your chastity has appealed to the bridegroom, and he is your husband, and to him you will submit your mercy. Blessed daughter Marina and happy bride, you have heard what was commanded of your <coughs> husband. So you are required to honor and respect him. Do not um, act against his opinion, but increase your obedience to him many times over what was commanded. For today you are alone with him and he is responsible for you instead of your parents. So you must receive him with joy and cheer. Do not frown in his face and do not neglect any of his rights upon you. Fear God and all what matters with him, because God commanded you to submit to him and ordered you to <coughs> obey him as your parents. So be with him as your own mother, Sarah, was obedient to our father, Abraham, and used to address him, my Lord. Thus, God looked upon her obedience to him, blessed her, gave her eyes in her old age, made her over a spring at the stars of heaven and the sand and the seashore. As you listen to what was commanded you to do, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood. Blessings will descend upon your home, and he will grant you blessed children by whom God will delight your eyes. A pure marriage and a crown, 
Blessed are our Lord Emmanuel, as you bless the wedding at Cana of Galilee. For me, the bridegroom, and Mary, the bride. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord bless you, Mina, and the Lord bless you, Marina. As he blessed our father Noah and his wife when, he they, when they left, out the, left the ark and populated the earth with their seed. And as he blessed our father Abraham with Sarah and Isaac with Rebekah and Jacob in his marriage, may the blessing of the Lord to his name be all the <coughs> honor, glory, at the wedding of Cana of Galilee, settle upon you and in your home, pure, unify you and purify you in harmony, create spiritual love in your hearts, sustain your livelihood, <coughs> fill your house and grant you a long age and happy life with the blessed children. We ask him to accept from us these prayers of this blessed crowning, reward us with the eternal for the temporal and heavily for the earthly, and give us and forgive us our sins, iniquities, and transgressions, and keep away from us the traps and cunning of the devil and evil enemy. May he keep the, keep the rest of the brethren who are attending with us with his prote protective right hand all the days of their lives and fill their homes and keep away from them the temptation of the enemy and grant them heavenly joy, free from trouble. Through the intercession of the lady of us all and the pride of our race, the lady, pure virgin, the honored mother of God, the honored mothers of salvation, who is preferred over all mankind, the pure Saint Mary, and the honored chosen martyr, Saint Mark the Apostle and the Evangelist, and all the righteous martyrs and the holy saints, I mean, let's all pray together. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us out of the nation, deliver us from evil, through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine kingdom come, and glory. I'm delighted to announce the following. The Holy Synod of the Coptic Orthodox Church, which consists of 128 metropolitans and bishops, used to meet twice a year. And in its meeting in 13th of June 2019, 2019, this year, the Holy Synod approved the pledge of the husband and his wife in the church. So after careful studying of this pledge from the righteous subcommittee. We have 10 subcommittees, 10, which study everything and then report to the Holy Synod. And the Holy Synod can decide or reject or approve. So the Holy Synod approved this pledge and I'm very delighted that Mina and Marina are the second ever marriage who's going to say the pledge in Sydney after ap approving it by the Holy Synod because the first one was happening in San Mark before half an hour. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you are the second one. So what I'm going to say, Mina and Marina, Father Michael is going to read the, the pledge, and you read to hold the microphone, or someone can hold it for you, leave your hands like this, and you read to repeat it after Father Michael, and try to understand what's going to be read, and try to do it. Because if you are going to do this, you and Marina, your house is going to be blessed and be a holy house. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, Marina.
I pledge before God. I pledge before God. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. <laughs> of lords. Of lords. And the shepherd of shepherds. And the shepherd of shepherds. Before his angels. Before his angels. And saints. And saints. And before the fathers of the church. And before the fathers of the church. And and all those present. And all those present. To live a Christian married life. To live a Christian married life. Worthy of the gospel of Christ. Worthy of the gospel of Christ. In which in each of us. In which each of us. Will tend to the salvation. To the salvation of the other souls. Of the other souls. We pledge to make our house. We pledge to make our house. A house of prayer. A house of prayer. A house of purity. A house of purity. And a house of blessing. A house of blessing. Fulfilling the Bible's words. Fulfilling the Bible's words. But as for me. But as for me. And my house. And my house. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. We pledge to keep the Orthodox faith. We pledge to keep the Orthodox faith. To the last breath. To the last breath. To respect the sacred laws of the church. Respect the sacred laws of the church and to preserve its traditions, rituals, and teachings. And to preserve its traditions, rituals, and teachings. We also pledge that. We also pledge that each of us. Each of us will lay the soul. Will lay the soul for the happiness of the other. For the happiness of the other. And that each one of us. And each one of us will treat the other. Treat the other with love. Love, faithfulness, faithfulness, forgiveness, forgiveness honesty, honesty, and patience. And patience. Each, of us Each of us will tolerate the weaknesses, will tolerate the weaknesses of, the other, of the other, fleeing with all wisdom, fleeing with all wisdom from the corruption of this world. We pledge that we will not, we pledge that we will not allow financial matters Matters, cause problems between us, problems between in, us. Any in any way and that each of us, each of us shows, love shows love and wisdom, and wisdom towards, the towards the family of the other and we pledge to raise our children in a Christian manner and to be role models, to be role models for, them for them in every good deed so that we all be holy and blameless before God. Christ, the King of peace, Christ, peace, forgive us our sins, or pray together, our Father who art in heaven. Let be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us from evil. Deliver us from evil, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by the kingdom and the power of glory forever. And now the Lord God the Father, the grace of the only God and Son, Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the coming and give the Holy Spirit be with you. Depart in peace, may the peace Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Amen. Nina, would you like to say to say the verse and then you can say the immense or would like me to do it? No, just you, you can just say everyone. Um, 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 Mina and Marina, we are um, um, so thankful and grateful for sharing with them this um, important and blessed um, uh, occasion. Okay, Lucas Eyes Urbana. <laughs> Okay, so, but what we're going to do, um, while the procession is going out, they would um, request everyone to go out first, because they have a special um, uh, uh, reception out there, okay. So, do you mind if everyone can go out, okay, from the main door, and then they're going to come and join you to take a photo with you at the, at the outside, okay. Thank you so much for... Um,